I'm Aisha, you are watching Educational Hub. A conceptual framework ensures that the concepts of your study are organized and presented in a simple and comprehensive manner. Today we discuss about, how can we create a conceptual framework in Microsoft Word? Let's start. First, click the Insert tab and select Shapes. You will see a wide range of shapes to choose from, usually, rectangles, circles, and arrows are the shapes used for the conceptual framework. Okay, next, draw your selected shape in the document. Okay right, next, insert the name of the variable inside the shape. You can do this by pointing your cursor to the shape, right-clicking your mouse, selecting Add Text, and typing in the text. Now, repeat the same process for the remaining variables of your study. Should you need arrows to connect the different variables, you can insert one by going to the Insert tab, then Shape, and finally, Lines or Block Arrows, depending on the style of arrow you prefer. For example, the research topic is, Hypoglycemic Ability of Gabi, Colocasia Escalenta, Leaf Extract in the Blood Glucose Level of Swiss Mice. Presents the conceptual framework of the study, the quantity of Gabi leaf extract is the independent variable while the blood glucose level of the Swiss mice is the dependent variable of the study. Through the empirical evidence and statistical analysis presented in this study, a direct relationship between these variables is established. Thank you for watching. Like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos about research.